Hello, artists! Today is another edition of How to Draw Cute Animals. Today, I'm going to look at dinosaurs. First, I'm going to start with the Tyrannosaurus Rex. He is almost like a triangle with curvy lines, so that's where I'm going to start. Remember, I always suggest that you sketch or draw very lightly so that you can go back and edit if you need to. The legs are a little bit tricky. They are curved lines. I'm really paying attention to the direction that they are facing. Remember, when you sketch, you can always go back and edit your lines and erase where you need to. I noticed that his back is a little more curvy than I made it. Now I'm going to add the details to his face. The drawing in the book doesn't have teeth, but I think my Tyrannosaurus Rex needs some. I'm going to draw his back leg that is facing in the other direction. It looks like it is behind his body. It is farther away from us. If you have a Sharpie or another black utensil, you can trace, but that is a choice you don't have to. The next animal I am drawing is the Triceratops. His head almost looks like a square shape, but with rounded edges. Kind of like a diamond. I'm going to start there. Remember, I am drawing lightly so that I can erase if I need to. The drawing book is just an idea, so I can change my drawing and make it look different if I want to. Take your time and look at the direction that the lines are going. Now that I've cleaned him up a little bit with my eraser, I'm going to trace this little guy with my Sharpie. The 
the last dinosaur I am going to draw is this long necked plant eater. I am going to put him down here on the bottom of my page. This little guy has a lot of curvy lines, so I'm really paying attention to the direction that they are going and how big the bumps are. Remember, you can make your animal's expression different if you want to. Oopsie, I'm sorry, you couldn't see his legs very well. I'll move him up so you can see a little bit better. I'm going to trace with a Sharpie, and then maybe I'll add some other details since I have a lot of white space. I'm going to use word bubbles. Have fun with your drawing and get creative!